Hey guys, what's up? Benny here. And in today's video, I'm going to be giving you guys three very simple tips on how to design your glove more like our pro players gloves. And guys, this video, um, I'm, this is not me telling you how to design your gloves at all. Feel free to make your glove as crazy or as unique as you want. These are just going to be three things or kind of three areas of the glove that I focus on when I'm designing our pro players gloves. Um, you know, a lot of our pro players like to design the gloves for themselves. But some players, for example, Iria Dranza, for example, he's a player that he sends us, you know, a color scheme, you know, or a couple of colors and, you know, an embroidery. And he just says, put it on the glove, make it look nice. That's what he did for this one. He wanted a red and a sky blue glove here. So design wise, this is what we made up for him. So I've designed gloves for players like him, Freddie Peralta, um, Gregory Soto, uh, tons of other players as well. So once again, design your glove how you like. These are just three little areas that you can look at and kind of focus on, focus on changing if you want your glove to look more and more like our, some of our pro players' gloves. So the three areas, color scheme, embroidery, and logos. I'm going to go over the embroidery first. It's probably the simplest one. Um, just a few little quick tips and tricks. Um, one thing for embroidery, guys. Always script if it's your name. Never get your name in block. You won't see any of our pro players getting their name in block letters or all cap letters. It's always gonna be script, first letter of the name capitalized, everything else lowercase, first letter of the last name capitalized, everything else. That's gonna be 99% of our pro players' gloves, guys. Script embroidery um, for the name, and it's gonna be on the thumb. If you wanna get some initials on the pinky or something else in the palm, um, you know, initial. Initials can definitely go in block. Like if you want to just do like a three letter or two letter initial, that can go in block obviously. It could go in script as well. And then on the palm, palm is usually where players will put either a, you know, a Bible verse or their children's name. So if, if you don't have kids, obviously you don't have to put your kid's name. You can put just about anything meaningful in the palm. You don't have to put anything in the palm. Um, and then thumb, most of our pro players' gloves are either gonna be their name embroidered script on the thumb like this one, or a Bible verse on the thumb or their kids' names on the thumb usually always in script. You know, if you, if you put um, John 3.16, any verse like that, Philippians 4.13, you're gonna wanna put that in script as well, not block. It looks so much better in script font. Um, so that's embroidery. That's the, you know, that's kind of the simplest one, name embroidery. Now you know, you want a pro glove, get your name in script, embroidered on the thumb. And another thing, guys, don't double number. Don't put, you know, don't, for me, if I, if this is my glove here, embroidery wise, if I, you know, if I put a number here, say I put number 18, I put number 18, I wouldn't put Benny Miller 18 here. Don't do that. Oh, you only need one number, guys. You don't need to put 18, Benny Miller 18, you know, 26, Johnny 26. You don't need to do that. Just leave the one number here. Just put, you know, Johnny, whatever you want to do. You don't need to double number. That's another thing people do. Let me just check my notes if I had anything else for embroidery. Don't double number. That's the big thing I put in caps. So next up, we'll go with colors. Color scheme. Uh, there's a lot of different things you could do. We obviously have so many, so many different leather options, you know what I mean? Um, and pro players do like this. But think, think of a few colors you want beforehand and then I'm trying to think how to, how, how to say this correctly. Think of a few colors you want to select beforehand. For this thing, it was red and sky blue. And then build the glove around those colors. Don't go adding a random tan finger stripe or a random, you know, green palm. Unless you want to, obviously, guys, if you want to do that, that's fine. But for our pro gloves, as you're going to see, gloves that I designed, boom, you could see very minimal color usage on these guys, right? You're not seeing a bunch of... This glove, three colors. This glove, two colors. This glove, two colors with the black lace. You're not seeing a lot of, you know, green, red, blue, pink, purple, snakeskin, 44 leather. You're not seeing any of that. Um, you're just going to see more simple, kind of more classic designs, but they can still really stand out. This glove, when he uses glove at third base, you know, in big league games, guys, it stands out because you can see that the colors are bright, they're vibrant. This is after a full year of use, as you can see. Um, it stands out even though he didn't go, you know, neon pink with a bunch of random finger stripes. It still stands out. 
Same with this one. It's going to pop on the diamond because it has contrast. It has the gray. It has the, the gray. It has the white snakes. It has the purple. Um, it's going to stand out. You don't need to go crazy with your gloves, guys. And the last thing on my notes was logo style. This is probably the number one thing we recommend to pros to make their logo and their glove pop even more is, guys, add a logo outline. If you see all the gloves I have here, if you see the gloves on our Instagram, gloves are so much more likely to get posted if they have a logo outline, guys. It just, it takes the glove, you know, if this glove was, if this glove was like an eight or a nine, I think it's a 10, because it's a nice little glove. But if it was eight or nine, you add that outline on, even if it's not a very, you know, different outline. This one is obviously very different, red with white. This one's very simple, green and gold. But as you can see, it makes it pop just that little bit more. The logo outline is huge. If you don't want the embroidered logo, we have a ton of different logo options. The flag logos are very popular. You know, if you're Dominican, Puerto Rican, Venezuelan, Canadian, American, whatever you want, we have a ton of different flag logo options and that's always gonna look super clean there, guys. So, once again, those are the three things. Colors, you know, get your name right on the thumb. Don't go all block. Don't put, you know, Timmy Tomlinson, 84 and then get a big number 84 here as well. Don't do that um, And then the logo type, you know embroider with the outline the flag logo the patch logo We have so many different options always looking to add more so if you have any ideas put them down below But these are just my three quick tips guys I hope you enjoyed the video if you have any other ideas for videos Let me know down in the comments. I'd love to start making some more videos for you guys I just need good content to make I don't want to waste your time. So Please feel free to hit that like and subscribe and let me know if you want what you want to see down in the comments. Thanks guys.